Orlando Pirates at scoring that last goal, the winner. Mm-hmm. Cracker, I mean, beautiful goals that were scored by Orlando Pirates and Chiefs, in fact. Mm-hmm. But at scoring the third goal, the winning goal, there are 12 players on the field. Should that goal have been disallowed? Had they been VAR, would we have seen a 2-2 match? I was asked that before I say anything on the air, can I please give the WhatsApp number and the call number because I'm a Kosa phone. And I was asked to tell the principal, because it's Monday, the three wise men come in, and Mazola, to keep it short, because people want to speak their minds. <laughs> so, guys, keep it, keep it short. short. Welcome to the 10 of the R6 on the Mighty Metro FM. Those numbers, as requested by you, I'll say them slowly so you save them, because we want your opinions, we want your thoughts, we want your emotions. 86 2160 to call us. WhatsApp on 60 7303. All of us are joining us uh, on uh, Facebook as well as on Instagram, uh, on YouTube as well. It's SABC Sport. That's where you find us. The Sports Start Amplified with Andy on the Mighty Metro FM. Thank you so much to Touch and the gang. They do it again tomorrow between 3 and 6. Great interview with the, you know, with the jazz legend, really. All the way out in Munich. It was brilliant to hear South African doing so well and spreading the South African rainbow love all over the world. There's a lot to talk about. But I want to give a big shout out to Kwanda. Uh, Kwanda Mukwena. Have you guys ever heard that name? Kwanda Mukwena. Yeah, have you ever heard of Kwanda Mukwena? No, I know Kwanda Mkwenyama. No, no, no. Kwanda Mukwena. Kwanda Mukwena is 20, 24. He's a GT3 racer. He races with uh, Mercedes. Oh. South African boy is out of Kyle Army. He was in Germany. came second in Germany. Wow. Mercedes came second and he's the man. In GT3. That's impressive. Yeah. So big shout out to him all the way in Germany coming second in the race there. He's basically next in line for F1, that boy. We might see a black South African one day in F1. Accelerator. Accelerator, boy. I wait a bit. So big shout out to him. Uh, then, of course, there's a big one. The Soweto Derby. I think, personally, personally, she was the best derby in a long time. In a very long time. Of course, there were things we need to talk about. Chiefs fans, we need to talk about you. Jessica crying. We need to talk about that. The incident on the pitch. You must tell me you're on the pitch. Let's take a quick break. Right, there's a lot to talk about. Uh, Arsenal sit atop uh, the Premier League. Uh, and of course, Bafana Bafana squad announcement. Some new faces in Hugo Bruce's squad. Muzzler will tell us a little bit more about that. We've got a lot of clips from that conversation. And Hugo Bruce answered the question, speaking to my colleague, Vusiwa Ngobo, answered the question on whether he's doubted, he's had doubts or wants to leave Bafana Bafana. What is the conversation about that? So Muzzler will give us a little bit of that as well. Victor Tlungan is sitting with us. There's a lot of things coming out, particularly of the derby, that he's going to be addressing. I asked on Twitter, hashtag ask the three wise men. You asked him a couple of questions. The one thing everybody wants to know uh, seems to be in and around uh, the winning goal. Pirates' third goal. Yeah. There was an extra player on the field. Mm-hmm. Orlando Pirates, in their celebration, um, I'm not sure who came onto the picture. Who was it? Ta- Ta- uh, so. Was it Luisa? Was no, it Munyane? So Munyane, Munyane, sorry. Yes, yeah. Munyane came on. Yeah. Munyane came on because I think he wanted a better angle to watch the goal go in. So yes. at the time that Orlando Pirates scored their goal, mm-hmm. there were 12 players. Orlando Pirates players yeah. on the field mm-hmm. versus those of Kaza Chiefs. Yes. Should that goal have stood? There were 12 players. That, that, that's without doubt. We know that for sure. Should the goal have stood seeing that there were 12 players on the field and that 11 of Kaza Chiefs? Was it an unfair advantage to have an extra man there? Vic will go into that. We'll speak about Arsenal. I said they're going to Arsenal, but what a game. Yes, it was 1-1, but when you look at the technical acumen of the two coaches that lead the two best teams, one of the two best teams in the Premier League over the last couple of years, Liverpool versus Man City, what a feast. And then, and then, obviously, Kevin Johnson. Kevin Johnson and... (laughs) I'm not sure if yesterday proved him right or wrong. It because proved him right. Kevin De Bruyne yeah. got sent off yesterday and had a shouting match. No, I mean, not as bad, but he had words with and Pep Guardiola. And it wasn't, for th- it wasn't the first time. And it wasn't the first time because yeah. he didn't make mention of that. I'll tell you our thoughts at the stadium, seeing it live and seeing it later on, because I'm not sure how far you were from it. Yeah. 
I'll tell you my thoughts. I didn't thoughts. see it at all because I was busy with the post-match interviews. I, I was very high up. Yeah. But I'll tell you my thoughts on what happened with uh, um, uh, uh, Kevin Johnson, Kevin and, Johnson Brandon and Brandon Peterson. Peterson. Yeah. I'll tell you my thoughts on that, what it looks like on video and what I think actually happened. We'll go into that. And we'll go into the derby as well as a feast. I think it's the best game in a very long time. Mm-hmm. As a neutral, I am very happy with the derby. Money's worth. I am happy. It was definitely money's worth. It was every cent that was paid for worthwhile. I am worried that who we thought were the top three referees in the DSTV Premiership right now did not take charge of that game. There's no top referee in the DSTV Premiership. Well, I mean the right best of, 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 of them. The best of there's the referees. No at top, there's no Jelly Shibane is not right one of the top referees right now. He's, he's a great ref. They but bl- not they right now. Left, right, and so we'll yeah. go into that as well. But uh, th- that's the show, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a hectic one and it's going to be a highly fueled emotion one. I've taken too much of your time. Ref, what are you going to give us? Yeah, Uma Zolanga has got a rating from the review committee. So there's rating there now as we speak. Every referee is rated. Every referee is, ra- is rated. What is the rating? A for category A matches? No, no, the scores that they score in every match. So what are the scores? One, two, three, what is it? Uh, when they score, like it starts from 80. 80 point something good match so 7.9 it's <laughs> yeah you are below okay so those ratings uh, count when you, you come to appointing matches for category a matches like this one yeah so <laughs> right we'll get into the details <laughs> no no no, no. <laughs> don't worry <laughs> Masala, what are you bringing us uh lots uh hugo bruce obviously announcing 23 men squad for the fifa series uh, tournament out in Algeria between Algeria and Andorra Bafana will face those two teams. He's made uh, 10 in, 10 out from his AFCON squad. Hmm. A few surprises there as well. And then we get uh, Kevin Johnson on the record to explain what happened between him and Brendan Peterson. And, uh, you know, there's also the, you know, people might have forgotten, but there's the Tswane Derby tomorrow. All right. Well, there you go. Speaking of the Tswane Derby, uh, Sundowns have uh, uh, different goals now. Sundowns aren't uh, speaking about winning matches. They're not speaking about scoring goals. Mm. They have different goals now. Yeah. Rulani Mukwena <laughs> asked his team yeah. to make 1,000 passes in the game. Yep, That and was their goal. And did you hear what Debo Mukwena said afterwards with his men of the match performance? He said, let's just wrap this league title thing quickly. <laughs> <laughs> let's hear now from Rulani Mukwena speaking on the 1,000 passes. I, I want the reptile, the chameleon, you know, uh, adapt, move, and at the right time, flex the, the tongue. And that's what I, I, I spoke about at the beginning. It's not because now you see it's, 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 it's what we are trying to do. We're poisonous, but 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 we know when to attack. And, and today I asked for a thousand passes. Yeah, today I asked for a thousand passes. I'm told we got close. We have 600 and something, so I'm not happy. Ah, well, guys, uh, it's two different leagues happening in South Africa. Ah, no, hi. Let's just wait for Champions League for Sundowns because it's over now. Thousand passes, not three points. Thousand passes. Let's wrap this league up very quickly. Yeah. Well, let's go to a coach that uh, would love to say that but can't. Kevin Johnson. And I don't know. I'd love to hear from you. And I'd like you to be as objective as possible. He says that Orlando Pirates stole the three points. Congratulations mm-hmm. to Orlando Pirates for stealing the points. But at the same time, from my team, I think uh, we had a good first half. In second half, we, we played in patches and uh, we, did, we did not maintain what we, what we had out of the game. Uh, you have three points, then you have one, then you have three again, then you have one, and then you have none. And then he goes on to, att- to, to rather defend the way that he attacked, the counter-attack. I don't think we played. We were just, we came out of, out of our blocks a lot quicker than Pirates. And uh, we knew that they were going to try and play against us. So if we press them and we win the ball, then maybe we can score. But it's not a deliberate counter-attack football. I don't think it looked like... I d- it did look like counter-attack football to you. And then uh, Jose Riviero says that this was a proper derby. I think it was a proper derby. Uh, I think that the previous ones, at least in the, in the league, were much more... I don't want to say that... Bo- boring, but but I think today we we have the opportunity to see much more football. Yep, the winning coach there with a smile, of course. Now let's move on to Bafana Bafana news. Uh, this is Hugo Bros on a meeting that is scheduled with Dr. Koza. Of course, we've spoken at length about the issues and the challenges that he's faced between the PSL as well as Safa. 
And this is something that I want to discuss with Mr. Kozals. It's good to have those players here, but when there are qualifiers for Olympics, when there are qualifiers or when there is Kosovo, then the PSL has to be ready to release the players because those players need those international games. If we don't receive the players for the Olympics, for qualifiers, then we are in the same situation than now. But as you said, we don't see those players. No, they are not maybe ready for us, for Bafana Bafana, but they are maybe ready for those other competitions uh, when they don't be released. Then you have a problem. I'm told that that meeting will be happening this week, so we do wish that uh, there's some synergy that is found between the two there. Let's move on now. Hugo Bruce speaking about Percy Dow. Uh, at the end of Afghan, Percy was mentally broke, really broke. He had a lot of grit. It was not fair, but okay. You know, social media can kill someone. So I saw him and uh, I talked to him and I said, no, no, no problem, Percy. But I knew, I knew there was a problem. So I called him two weeks later or one week later and we talked to each other and, and I felt, I said to him, listen, I will not call you up for the uh, friendly games. I said, no, no, I want to come. I said, no, you don't. Stay there so that everything will be calm again. Because if you come with a friendly game and you should play a bad game, it will start again. So that's the reason why Percy is not with us. And they say that Hugo Bruce is not a man-to-man fatherly type coach, I think. He's proven there that he does have a relationship with the players. Let's move on now to him speaking about Kanye Samayo. We are a little bit in trouble with our strikers for the moment. <laughs> okay, the, there was criticism because it was not an, uh, on Afghan. And I said what I said, and I still will repeat it, that I expected more progress from Mayo. I think now, with all those uh, strikers who are injured, Magropa, Motiba, um, uh, and Foster, um, yeah, he gets his chance. And it's up to him now to show that it's not only because he's, he uh, scored the out goals, but okay, show me now that you have the level of Bafana Bafana. It's a great opportunity for him. Oh, here we go. That is Hugo Bruce. Your thoughts on that, of course. We're going to be taking your calls on 86 uh, Somebody saying, Andile, what about the F1? Ah, F1 is on the DSTV Premiership. Ah, I guess I'm down to the Max. Ah, leave them alone. <laughs> here are your goals from this weekend. <laughs> You can join Dr. Kumalo myself as well as uh, Lulu and the two gentlemen in studio when we give you Soccer Zone this evening on SABC1 as well as SABC Sport. Let's bring it back now to the three wise men, not always so wise, Muslim Malefe, as well as Dr. Lungwane today. Because he's a specialist everybody's standing in line for. Yeah, so right. we'll have him last. Okay. The principal? Yeah, the line to your office is too long. We'll come yeah. to you last, Masola. So I can take my time. No, 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 no. We want you to wrap it up. Work it and raise. Wrap it up like the league title. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me wrap this up like the league title. Um, obviously, Andile, you remember last week we were talking about Hugo Bruce and reports that were coming out after he did a sit down on a podcast in Belgium. Uh, you know, speculation that Club Rouge want him as a technical director and all sorts of rumors, even clubs in North Africa or teams and national teams in North Africa sort of going for his service. Well, this afternoon uh, at uh, here at SABC, he was asked by Velile uh, Mnyandu as well as Vusiwengobo uh, about these rumors just to dispel them uh, once and for all. And this is what the coach had to say. 
you did a good Afghan, but yes, you are thinking about the end of your career. It's, it's, it's normal. It's, it's not more than that. And I expressed that in a, on, a, on a press conference, and yeah. then suddenly, yeah, bells were starting ringing. Oh, what a coach is standing there. No, no, it was not like that. Um, so Afghan is done. I had a very good meeting with Mr. Jordan, the president of the, of the Federation, and I think the, the problems are solved. Uh, the only thing I hope now, I hope now that I will have a little bit more credit by some people here in this country that was by some people go in no 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 he knows i'm a fan <laughs> anybody that listens to the show knows that from day one we said we're going with hugo okay i i, I hope once and for all now that the meta is settled the and coach even if he loses two or three games it doesn't make him a bad coach overnight no, no. give the coach space to work take us to the next afcon and take us to the world yeah, cup give 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 the coach some space to breathe uh you know he's committed to the national team and then uh let's bring it back home in terms of the DSTV premiership we're talking about uh, uh Kevin Johnson and a lot that that happened out at Soccer City on Saturday in the Soweto derby that moment Andile, i said i didn't see it i only saw it much later uh in the replays his confrontation with Brendan Peterson we asked him in the auditorium uh, press conference with the rest of the journalists about what exactly happened and this is what coach uh, Kevin Johnson had to say in explaining the situation oh it was just a, n- a normal chat to the coach coach we lost the game what do we have to fight yeah did you see Kevin De Bruyne tell Pep Guardiola to shut up it's normal I want my players to react when we lose. I want them to react. And if they react to me, then I take all that on my shoulder. Because tomorrow I will fix up whatever the reaction is. And that is football. I don't want them to be mouses. They have to be people who come and question me. I have to question them. I agree with him. Mm -hmm. Um, I do think it was normal, as what he said. Because he said it was normal. I do. I think it was a frustrated player and and a coach because you know this because of 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 the demeanor of Kevin Johnson and retaliation and in return for it i don't think it was disrespectful to you know if, when you look at it from afar and you look at the hand gestures and the loudness of what peterson was then you might think ish i don't think much of it i yeah. really don't and you know I, i don't think kevin would come out here and lie necessarily yeah um and you could even see in the way that Clanty i think Clanty yes, is a player yes. that steps up he doesn't he, step he up he consoles to, him yeah, no yeah, 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 yeah. He holds his head in yes. consolation to say, yes. and you want that in a player. Yeah. You want a player that doesn't want to get out. You want a player that's frustrated and doesn't like losing. So I think we are making a mountain out of that particular anthill. 100%. I don't think there's much to that. Yeah, and if you if you know Brendan Peterson's character as well, you know that he's not a, a player that is easily reacts in that sort of manner. So, you know, maybe on TV it looked worse than it actually was. And also there was a matter of him standing up uh, and 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 uh Uh, assistant coaching. Yeah, and he does that all the time in all the games. Itumilen Kune would do it. Um they're, they're just players. Veli Motwa, you see him do that. Absolutely. There are players that do that. There are yeah. players that um Leaders. would get up yeah. uh, and 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 lead and they'll say something and they'll go back and they'll sit down and there are coaches that are okay with that that allow them to. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And uh, he's one of those players so you can imagine the sort of relationship that they then have. I particularly think Makosi were making too much of that than what it actually was. Absolutely. Let's stay with Kevin Johnson uh, also asked in that press conference about uh, Kaiser Chiefs fans reaction uh, to them losing 3-2 uh, in that derby when they had taken the lead in the first half but went on to lose the match but the coach said he didn't see any of the bottles thrown onto the pitch. But they throwing stuff on the field. Hey Jens, I didn't see her, uh, you know, when you lose a game of this magnitude. I didn't see any guys. Uh maybe I saw one bottle or two, but I did see police. And maybe they I don't know <laughs> who they're protecting me or the players. But uh yeah, we <laughs> want to say thank you to them for coming out. Don't throw stones, guys. It doesn't work. I I have an opinion and I'd love to to speak to SAPS. Before the match ended, mm-hmm. before anything was thrown. Mm-hmm. Before a single bottle was thrown. The SAPS with the 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 shield came out and stood behind the, the Kaiser Chiefs goal yeah and the tunnel and the tunnel yeah shortly after the police got there mm-hmm. with the shield the throwing started i wonder if that's not some sort of incitement yeah i i believe so too because i walked i walked in i came from upstairs and went downstairs maybe some 10 minutes before the game ended and there were no cops there and the 10 minutes before the game ends you can see that chiefs are going to lose the match and nobody is throwing any missiles objects or anything like that as soon as the uh, the the cops gathered around then that's when the chiefs fans got a bit irate we we could uh, be wrong here we could be wrong but i'm telling yeah. you from the experience that we saw and what 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 we shared there i wonder if they hadn't gone there 
what but then again can they afford not to go there if it does happen then yeah, then somebody, they're going to be reactive and it's going to be too late yeah. somebody said the ball boy was dealing with the ball and then uh, it started there from that section uh, behind the chief's bench so i, I didn't see no. I, I was standing in between the two benches i didn't see any ball boy no it wasn't that uh, they 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 started coming in they yeah. came in from the far end mm-hmm. um and they moved in with the shield and they stood there i just wonder if that's not a cue you know for me who's standing there wasn't going to do it be like oh okay it's a really source cut yeah you know mm-hmm. and we need to go back what was the ruling the last time this happened was there no suspended sentence of sorts uh, against Kaza Chiefs? No, I remember they were hit with a with that one ban, with the, the one, one match ban, one match mm-hmm. ban, and that's where that's where it ended. And there was no suspended sentence of any sort. No. All right. Just uh, I think f- in monetary terms. Yeah, that's I, what I mean. If, if I remember. Yeah. 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 Even because so, was th- there was no money that was suspended to to be paid unless you, if you do it within a year again. I, I'll check. While we need we to double check that. Area. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the winning coach of the Soweto derby uh, that is Jose Ribeiro. We asked him about Monapule Saleng. Remember, Saleng was you know, almost tied with Tebu Mukwena for football of the season last year. And we thought he would possibly go to the AFCON. But start of the season, disappeared in no man's land. A forgotten player, really. But he scored two goals in the derby. And this is what the coach had to say about Saleng. He's not a forgotten player, that's for sure. You show him today. He needs to. He needs our support as well, our help to to be again the Salen that that everybody have the opportunity to see the last season. Right now, he's doing the right steps. And finally, Andile, like I said, the Twani Derby tomorrow. Some people might have forgotten that they say, obviously, on the back of a five-goal thriller. Let's see what the Twani Derby dishes out. Ah, Twani Coach, Derby about thirty thousand passes. Coach Rulani Mukwena is focused on a thousand passes. Let's hear what Kevin John, uh, what Kevin Hunt rather, is focused on ahead of the Twani Derby. Uh, it's very difficult for them because obviously they don't even know. Uh, half of them don't even know we're playing tomorrow. You know, so the fixtures and obviously where we've been playing. So you know, it's disappointing sometimes reading things that, uh, that people have got no idea what we're going through. Um, and um, yeah, we we'll hopefully we'll see them out there tomorrow, um, supporting the team, try and give us an extra motivation. Ah, Emma, yeah, and giving. We're moving around like we move around. Get a <laughs> consistent group of supporters, but um, hopefully they know we're playing at Loftus. You know? No, Emma, yeah. What? What's uh, Kevin saying? <laughs> I don't understand. No, I genuinely, I don't understand. Are you? They don't even know we're playing tomorrow. Who? The players or the fans? Is it the fans? Oh, okay. 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 Why would the fans not know they're playing? <laughs> Mazola, do your job. I no, Mazola, do your job. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> no, because of the venue changes, I get you. But he ah, doesn't but say still. they don't know where we play. He ah, says they don't yeah. know who we are playing. Yeah, he doesn't say the venue. He says they don't know we are playing. Half of them don't know what I'm playing I, I see a thousand passes tomorrow at this rate. <laughs> so I wonder, is Lana going to be happy if they lose and get a thousand passes? <laughs> coach, hit me up. How do you feel? Coach, lose, please call in. Call in, coach. We'd love to know. <laughs> Three points or a thousand passes. Which, are you, which one are you going to take? Let's take a break. When we come back, there's a lot of questions that you've asked on social media. I'm going to go to it. He is here. It's hashtag uh, ask uh, the three wise men the one question that came up over and over again orlando pirates at scoring that last goal the winner Mm -hmm. cracker i mean beautiful goals that were scored by orlando pirates and chiefs in fact Mm -hmm. but at scoring the third goal the winning goal there are 12 players on the field should that goal have been disallowed had they been var would we have seen a 2-2 match it's uh, 6.37, the moment South Africans have been waiting for. We're going to go straight into it, but I just want to read um, the comments from those that uh, tagged and uh, wanted to know uh, the questions here. When uh, Victor, the principal, Shlungwane, our resident referee, gives us all the insights. Let the principal school me on the rules of the game regarding retaliation. Okay, we'll go to that one there. Uh, where's the one that I wanted? Uh, oh, Mart, reckless, dangerous, brutal, and career-ending tackle on Saleng. Was it not a red card offence? This is coming from Sir Richard Baloy. Yeah, Ruperile Ma'a, Ruperile Baloy, Kalanga Munyai. Here, we will show it nicely when we get to Soccer Zone. But all we can say on this tackle, yeah, uh, uh, Joseph Mart, it was serious foul play. And when we say serious foul play, it means a different card must come out. So okay. a, a wrong card was issued. Okay, then this is it. It's from Umlangin, Nkosi Tlamini. 
says Pirates' third goal was it legitimate considering a Pirates player who was not an infield player at the time had one foot inside the field before the ball went into the back of the net. Let's cover the fact here. There was a 12th player yes. in the field yeah. before the goal went in. Yeah. So he can't have come on to celebrate because it had not crossed the line yet. Yeah. What are the rules on an extra player in the field? Yeah, before Mazola comes in, because I gave Mazola the rules. So that when it's, it's giving read, me some homework. Yeah, here. so when Mazola read, then we'll understand. Ma, uh, we talk of amendments every year. Uh, the last year amendment after Yusef Mart scored a goal from the center. There was a Chiefs player on the, on the field of play who was the 12th player. FIFA then amended the rules and changed it and gave it to us, which we read at uh, the beginning of the season. But I will allow Honorable Sir Mazola Mfanawa Bethlehem. Can you read for our viewers, for our listeners? Okay, here's uh, Lord 3 on the players. It says, goal scored with an extra person on the field of play. Clarification that the referee should take action against an extra person on the field of play when a goal is scored only if the person affected the play. For example, the law does not uh, expect the referee to penalize encroachment onto the field of play if it does not impact the play. So basically what you're saying to me is that guy was so far off. Um, uh, who did you say it was? I think you said it was Tabi Somunyai. Tabi Somunyai, yeah. Was that Tabi Somunyai was so far from the actual play, didn't interfere with it in any way. So therefore, in that manner, it doesn't matter. That's law. He did not impact play. He did not interfere with play. He did not uh, stop any Chiefs player from attacking the ball. So a goal should stand. Let me play the devil's advocate a little bit here. Yeah. If he was in the field before the ball was kicked, he would have then been in an offside position. Would that have mattered? Uh, he must interfere with play. He so must, if there's no interference with play, no it doesn't impact, matter where he is, what he does. It's like an extra ball entering the field of play. If that ball does not interfere with play, play continues. So the same principle applies. There must be an impact. If there's no impact, yes, ro- extra ball, it's a problem. Uh, extra player, it's a problem. But if they don't impact play, a, a, a goal should be allowed. And that's exactly what happened. So correct decision by the referee to allow a goal. And then uh, as part of jubilation, uh, you know, FIFA has put on the text. Well, there you go. It's a goal. It's a legitimate goal. Nothing wrong with that goal. Nothing wrong. I'm going to give Mazola a bit of homework here. Mm-hmm. Mazola, Sundowns are chasing a thousand passes, right? Mm-hmm. They want to win the match, but they want to win it with a thousand passes. I'd love to know, uh, perhaps, no, 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 you're the wrong person here. Let's speak to Opta tomorrow before the Sundowns game. Let's find out what is the average PSL game passes. How many passes is an average game in the PSL? So that we can see what this thousand passes is. Because if we're saying a thousand passes in, in volume J, mm. uh, it doesn't quite, you know, it doesn't quite ring a bell. But let's see what the average of every team in a PSL season, what is the average amount of goals? Let's give Opta Jabu some homework for tomorrow. Yeah. And then uh, he'll give us that. And then we can see how big this uh, 1,000 passes is. What else do you have there? Yeah. Um, uh, before I go to the next one, I have a message from uh, Bob Steak, who said he want to thank the supporters. They got their money's worth with five goals in the match. So from who? From Bob Steak, Bob Mutaho. He said I must. Pass Did he call? No, no, no. I spoke to him. We we spend oh, two, three minutes. No, he but said, uh, I must Bobby tell knows. you guys. I must tell no, you. Andy, no, we don't take. We don't accept that message. <laughs> if Kaiser Chiefs in any form want to come on the show, yeah. and pass messages, they must come here. No, maybe they will come. Because, no, uh, Chief. No, we yeah. don't accept that message. But we, uh, the message please, is gone. Through. Okay, please yeah. uh, go back and say uh, that everybody listening says no. Thank you. We do not accept that message. If you want to talk to people. Come here and address people properly. All right, let's pass on that one. I'm just a messenger. <laughs> 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 there was a, a mattress um, uh, brought into the field of play. Uh, we saw uh, Sipo China putting the mattress, sleeping there. And then Tabi Solibito was supposed to take a throw in. He did not take a throw in, pointing at the, someone sleeping on the field of play. A referee showing tactical awareness. He said, no, let's carry on with play. Libito did not want to carry on with play. Libito got a yellow card. And then what happened after? 
the ball was thrown, China stood up. So there was no injury at all, we can confirm now. It was just tactics that are used to delay the game. So because Ndawa was injured at that particular time. Mm. So now uh, uh, here we can applaud Jelly Chabani for uh, uh, ensuring that uh, a, a derby like that, people must not spoil it by uh, slipping on the field of play. So that was good to see. But I mean, looking at the decisions he made, did he not uh, play a part in it not being greater than it could have been? Yeah, you know, you'll get some, you correct, some not. And um, uh, the thing that with Jelly Chaban that uh, uh, he Alfred must learn. Chaban. Yeah, he must learn. It's, the, the, you remember he did Paris and Chiefs in Deben where uh, 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 this guy who's at Sundowns now, he stamped on billiard. Uh, the one is at Sundowns now who is just moved now. Uh, from where? From Paris to Sundowns. Lodge. Lodge. Because. Lodge stamp on uh, 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 Billiard. He was supposed to get a red card in that game. Jelly did not give. Yesterday, uh, on Saturday, we saw again uh, Mart uh, kicking someone in a serious manner. So we need now, uh, the referees COVID need now to uh, uh, sit down with uh, uh, Jelly and teach him how to interpret serious foul play because apparently has a problem with interpreting interpreting serious foul play so that he can give red cards in the next matches. All right, it's all over to you now. Timmy, open the lines. 086-000-2160. Ask any question of the two gentlemen that sit in studio and WhatsApp on 060-552-7303. We'll even take uh, uh, Arsenal fans. It's okay. We'll take the Arsenal fans. Uh, but uh, the statement returns. It remains. Arsenal, at some point during this season, and they still have Man City to play, right? They will yep. Arsenal. All right, here we go. Here we go. Call Metro FM now on 0860-002160. Drop us a voice note on 060-552-7303. Waking up, down to turn up. Good evening, Andile and the team. Are you driver? You know who's driving Andile Duba to FNP Stadium? I should should be suspended. You, Sailene Dingwenya, Sailene Dingwenya, Pelayati, the previous week, we should wait for you. <laughs> 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 That's cold. That's cold. That's cold. I the men of the match deserving. What a performance. Tito. What's wrong? Yeah, he delivered. Ah, yeah, he delivered. He delivered. But also, uh, the young players were expected to see some magic from uh, not just Mufuke, but as he came on. Uh, even yeah, Duba okay. came on. It was it was it was good to see us to to Derby with yeah. young players like that. Yeah, I mean the right. two the two Chiefs players coming on late didn't have an impact at that point, but to have played in us away to Derby at their tender ages, gee was give us another one. Andile, bona, perete irlore South Africa hobele le peace kuru hobele kuto rigeti le umunate hobele wika bolo. In the Raya, a pila pila, a rangi sele, Bawina, Bavang, it over to Mudimu, the Fatsa Lenga, Lilara Matata, Wawana Laga social media or our own and we could to reget Lili. Rawa Bagajura Lebua, Lawaha Bukun, Lawala Mata, Lawa Lurbonsa Meche, Um Massive. What a wonderful game it was. Indeed, it was a nice one, and delay. Ne, and delay. Thank you. Thank you. It was a wonderful derby, mm. wonderful goals. You know, I'm happy it was goals and it was thrilling. But I was disappointed by the Kisa Chiefs supporters. Always, anyway. Thank you, Ma'a. Kikabela Gamo Winterfell. Kamaram Baya Pevi. Hey, big shout out to Steve Kambela winning his first game out at uh, Golden Arrows. That was a good one. Uh, congratulations, coach. You know, appointment, and then uh, he went and won. So, a big one that. Good evening, Andy Lee and the team. Um, hey, Goms. Has checked the weekend that was your. We didn't to Saturday. We like, we could live still. I'm feeling a little bit choked. Like, hey, my cousin, give a tongue. I anywhere that I'm part, you I believe would talk about ya. And go by the friends that she's getting horror horror like who double talk about her. And told us that my bottle of local grounding I but fit to see again. I it's not nice as see again. So yeah, Gomi from Tembis. Thank you so much, Gomi. Hey, did you know this? The most informed team 
in the DSTP Premiership right now, when you look at the last five games, is actually Skukun. Oh. Yeah. Think about it. With the results it shows. Yeah, draw and four wins. Where's Stelis? Um Stelis is sitting Gee was Stelis is sitting in fourth. The most informed team is Kukuna United, who've collected four wins and one draw in the last five. Tears Galaxy, three wins, one loss, and a draw. Sundowns is third. Okay. Because they've only had uh, two wins and three draws. Remember they ended the season the the, the year with the draw, came in with the draw. Mm-hmm. The first game that they won was uh at the last game they played before this one here. And then it's Stellenbosch, Cape Town Spurs, Orlando Pirates, Polokwane City. Chiefs are sitting in 10th. Hmm. Chiefs yeah. are sitting in 10th as far as form over the last five games is concerned, yeah. which is very worrying because of five, which is 15 points, they've only collected um, six points. Yeah, Babina Noko can need. Babina Noko. Let's go. You are Sabe no no Siola Siola Lebete Mapaga Paga Mapaga Paga Mapaga Paga This Andile. is the remix ah. Bona, I had a great weekend, my brother. Thanks to my boys, Orlando Pirates. Orlando Pirates, uh, you did me proud, my free too. Um ish. The less we talk about Chiefs, the better. But I'm proud of my boys. Uh, this is Tempo Feast all the way from Pretoria, Mavopani. Well done, Paganias. Thank you. Hello, Andile. Hey. Um, what a weekend it was, my brother. Mm. Um, you know, I, I, I can miss any other day of Sports Night Amplified, except Monday and Friday. Hi, bro. Because uh, I know uh, the principal. He's always going to talk about mistakes of the referees. That's the standard. <laughs> Does he really, though? We have in SA. No, no education, no nothing. Just mistakes, in she? No education. Yeah, it's love from Cape Town. Yeah, man, I know. I agree with you. Let's play one hey, more than take off. Yo, that was the best dab in mm. But then, uh, I'm a support the case of Chiefs. I'm a support the and they over put away to Lavana, I was a severe, and then a Lapana Stadium, like Caesar Navantana, and did. Then to your pawns, I and did a unusual CC. And then a coach here to Yellow Ranji, Kesa Chiefs, and did Angazum Tanzani like Angabu Yang Umbisang in a big game gangaza, and did Umtacha Oopi, Umbumbang a pant, Umtatum begging a pant, and did I in Nangu CC. Anyway. Can I tell you what my biggest surprise was? Mm-hmm. Seeing Gonzalez come on. Yo, I was even shocked. That was uh, that was a shock to me. Mm. Yeah, Madam Datsani ended Velo because the second goal came from Datsani. From Datsani, I can understand. Yeah. Gonzalez. Mm. Bamufa pass. Mm. Let's go to the calls. <laughs> uh, let's start with the brain. The brain is out. Go Sasha. Hey, the brain. Kevin. Oh, oh Kevin. Oh, Kevin. Yeah, Kevin the Brave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, KDB, talk to me. Yes. What are your thoughts? Talk to me. Can you hear me? I can hear you, man. You want to talk about the oh. derby? Go for it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mara Kevin Johnson, are you a lucky? Yes. Kevin Johnson, and are you, you a lucky? stole the three points. No. Hello? Oh man, yeah, we're gonna have to let KDB go there from Sasha. Sorry about that one. Uh, let's go to Vinny. Vinny is in Pretoria West. Wants to speak about referee. Vinny. Hi, I'm Vinny. Good evening. Hey man, if you want to speak about refereeing, Vinny, you want to speak about uh, this man here. Yes. Yeah, the principal is here. Go straight to him. He can hear you. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I want to ask something. Hmm. There was an incident whereby Olisander was injured. Yeah. And he was being taken off by the medicals. Yeah. And by the time Chiefs was attacking on a pirate half, I don't remember if it was Ngo or, or, or what do you call this guy, uh, the, the goal scorer. Hmm. So the fourth official. Goal scorer of what? Of Chiefs? Ashley. In, Ashley, sorry. Yeah. Okay. The fourth official introduced Olisander. Olisander while he is coming from behind, he went straight to the defense line. If I remember well, he he was in contact with the guy who was attacking. How is the rule of soccer? Is it allowed or not? 
Yeah. I will listen to the radio. Yeah, fortunately. I don't know if I was only, I, was, uh, I wonder if I was, I was only one who saw it or people saw it. I just want to ask them. Okay, he's going to gonna, he's gonna take that one. Thank you so much, Vinny. Go for it. Yeah, fortunately, I was at the stadium. Uh, when Oli Sanda, he did not interfere with play immediately. Player went this side, it went then, then he, he marked that player. So there was nothing wrong in terms of the law. When he was introduced in, there was no ball there. He never interfered with play immediately. So play went there, it went on the other side. That's when he limped and got that player. Because he was even limping. You know, you know, he didn't even last to show that he was seriously injured. So there was nothing wrong in terms of the loss of the game. All right, uh, let's move on uh, to Jimmy. Jimmy, Ogo uh, Makao. Jimmy. So Jimmy, we now lip read away, nane. <laughs> Jimmy, what, what, what do you think of the game? Though? What do you think of 1990? Mm. You know, sometimes we need young boys to shine. Game we ela nailam pundo bilagas. <laughs> Not just a deal game. I give almost to the team, but a salamuana. Come on, and you know, I'm not to start the game. I must tell you something though. No, no, no. Mpundo Vilagas. Oh, Mpundo. He's got he's got an arrogance about him. You saw him when when he went to the corner and he went to take the corner and was telling the senior players, "Come on, let's go." There's something about that boy as far as uh, 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 BMT in him is concerned. Mm -hmm. So, but I don't know about starting him in the derby. <laughs> Let's go to Lunga. Lunga's out in Rudaport, wants to speak about his beloved Arsenal. They haven't Arsenal yet. They're sitting atop. Lunga, when are you going to Arsenal? <laughs> Lunga, are you there? Oh, man, have we lost Lunga? Timi Mukatil. Yeah, Timi Belay Wakatana, Timi. Let's go to Dixon Gwamslanga. He wants to speak about the derby. Dixon. Yeah, Timi Mukatil. Can you hear me? Oh, there you are. Hey, Dixon, talk to me. Hi, hi, how are you? Yeah, we're good, man. Talk to good, me. Dixon. I, I, I'm, glad, I'm glad Jimmy spoke about uh, 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 Villa Gazi. You know, and the, the difference between Villa Gazi, Duba, uh, what is it? Who, which one is it? Ingo, no. in the middle of it. Mm. And, and, and Mufuken, Ratomo. You know what the difference? Mm. Ratomo respects the game. Mm. What do you mean? You know, when I say someone respects the game, I remember during that telling 11, Mpundo Villagas scored a free kick. Mm. Instead of him respecting the game, respecting the elderly players, respecting the fact that he was chosen by the fans, he said, in I don't know if these boy, young boys are not trained to speak to the media in terms of how you, you present yourself as a player, how you respect the game and respect the opponent. Hmm. Duva scored a goal last week. He was already talking about Pirates. I'm waiting for Pirates. What is that, Andy? Harris has been there for years. He didn't even make the starting lineup. He's not even on that level of him to be saying such things. You have Ronaldo. Ronaldo has achieved everything. But even today, after the game, he'll tell you that I still have to work hard. I have not reached the peak that I want to reach. To be fair, to, 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 be fair to them, I Dixon, thought, yeah. to be fair to them, Dixon, I don't think I've heard Rebuhile give an interview. So we don't we don't That's know what, what he would say yeah. if he he but, actually yeah. won a man of the match, for instance, or he you, gave you know, an interview. You know what? You know what? You know why he's not getting interviews? Mm. Because he's not out there. He doesn't want to be out there. But but they won know? man of the match. Yeah, they those, didn't have a those choice. Those two won man of the match. So those they didn't two have interviews a choice but you to speak to, about to, was during yeah. man of the match wins. Yeah, but no, I remember there was there was an, uh, the, someone spoke to 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 Ratom. He was still in the in the disc challenge. Mm. The disc challenge. I listen to him when he speaks. That's why I say, I say to you, he respects the game. It okay. starts from okay, there. Fair enough. No, Dixon, I hear you. There. I think that's a very good point. Um, thank you so much. But I, I'm excited that we're having conversations about a 17-year-old and two 19-year-olds. Mm -hmm. I'm excited that we're doing that. Uh, Lisiba, this one is... Oh, no, Timu. Lisiba. I Timu wrong with you. I Timu is wrong Papa. Timu? How are you, Lisiba? This evening... Uh, we out at uh, Soccer Zone, the three of us. It's going to be 
Soweto Derby heavy, but we'll still give you all the other results. And of course, we're going to be for the first time on Soccer Zone at least because we did it on Sport at 10. We've done it on this show throughout the week. We're going to be showing clips, of course, uh, of uh, Mkonza's time on Soccer Zone as well. The years that he's been there, over 10 years that he did that. So we're going to be there showing some of his uh, big moments there as well. But very quickly, let's speak to Lee. Lee, you come up Lee. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. Yeah. Uh, good thing to the gentleman over there in the studio. Good evening. Yeah. Uh, what, what a baby. Lee, Andy, Lee, he's a big one. 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 He's a big that you can watch all over this world. So, yeah, we are... Hey, man, that commentary was quite good, Lee. Yeah. Um, watch out for me. Uh, um, uh, I've been following you for years, bro. You don't know how happy I am personally. You know, for the fact that I don't call in, bro, I know that I don't miss a show. Even if I don't listen, I open for that steps. When they rate you, they can see that we support you. Don't worry. The world and who gave me the talent one day, it will be fulfilled. Lee, the voice of Africa, what's up for that name? The commentary in Suzulu is going to be leaked at SAPC. One of these good days. Oh, Lee, I wish you the mm-hmm. very best, my brother. I can't wait to work with you. Catch the rest of us, uh, myself and the two wise men, um, out on Soccer Zone this evening. Let's show what we've been speaking about visually as well. I really appreciate you. Every single day, you support a bunch of guys that sit here and a bunch of girls that sit here that you've never even met. Thank you. Pella, pella. Until me.